do you know that launching a profitable ready to wear business does not necessarily have to be a hard chore a hard thing to do it's not supposed to be very difficult yes in today's video i'm going to be showing you the three simple stages to launching a profitable ready to wear business you don't have to get confused it's not going to be so rigorous it's not going to be so hard if you stay with me to the end of this video i'm going to break down those stages for you so that you can list them out and then follow them step by step to achieve up some success in your ready to wear clothes in business welcome to today's video i am ayoba me for Lauren show and i'll be walking you through the process immediately So the first stage to launching a profitable ready-to-wear business is the pre-launch stage. Yes, the pre-launch stage. I call this the pre-launch stage because they are the activities that you need to carry out before properly launching your ready-to-wear clothing line. So what are the activities that you should put in place when you want to launch your okay so you've decided that yes i want to launch a profitable ready to wear business i want to launch a ready to wear clothing business i'm tired for whatever reasons you've identified your why and then you want now you are ready to take step you are ready to begin but then you just don't know what where to start from you don't know how to go about it the first stage i'll tell you today is identify a need yeah so this is different from the regular i want to start making clothes then you start cutting the dresses and start making it no you have to sit down and ask yourself what problem am i creating solution for what problem are the people that i'm going to be producing what are they producing for what are they having what problem are they encountering how do i want to help them solve this problem i tell you a money follows solution and then solution comes as a result of you identifying a problem and solving it so the first thing you should do is identify a problem let me make an illustration um one of my private students she actually told me that the problem after going through the first um phase of the course she told me that the problem she's um she's able to identify is is the fact that a lot of ladies want to wear jean skirt but then they don't like the regular jean skirt that you get to see in the market because it's um too tight it's body hugging them you understand that kind of thing and then it exposes a part of their tie which they are not really comfortable with and you know what immediately i was able to relate with it because i actually went um sometime with my younger sister and then we wanted to buy a jean skirt for her she was going to school then and then she said she wanted a jean skirt we searched and searched and said everything we saw was actually either too tight too short or too and then she was not comfortable with it. so i i could relate to her when she immediately said that personally i knew it was a problem but then i didn't see it as something that i was able to create solutions but for somebody to reason in that line it was really um a, 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 a beautiful thing to actually think of so i encourage that and she got started with um that production line so that is a problem that you can actually identify and create solution for so the next thing, thing you should know the second thing you should know after you've been able to identify a problem is carve a niche around that problem yes carve a niche so what is a niche a niche, a niche is a segment of the market that you are willing and able to serve you see the market is very big especially the fashion industry the market is so so wide and so big and you cannot say because i know how to okay i know how to make men wear i know how to make women's wear i know how to make children's wear i know how to make pillowcase bed sheet and all of the a whole lot of that and then you just want to go ahead and start producing ready to wear because you know how to sew everything and then you want to sew everything no it is very very important for you to carve a niche around a problem that you've identified so just like the lady in the first example that i made she was able to identify that problem that okay a lot of people want jeans care that are modest and and at the same time trendy and okay on their body and then she's ready to fill the gap then she's able to carve a niche that okay she's going to be making jeans care for ladies did you see that so identifying a problem makes it easy for her to be able to carve a niche She's able to determine that, okay, these are the people that I'm going to be serving. This is the kind of people that will be buying my products. So this is, the, this is what I am producing. 
So she's it's not that kind of person that you go and meet tomorrow and say, I want him um, that she, you see her, she will start um, selling suits or selling jumpsuits and, and two-piece. At least not at this initial stage. She already knows the kind of market that she wants to produce. She knows the kind of market that she wants to serve with a product. So it is very important for you to carve a niche out of whatever problem that you identify their fashion point now don't say that because you can make everything then you want to go ahead and start producing this and producing and producing whatever carve a niche out of whatever problem that you identify and focus on it stay with it stay with it until you achieve success with it before you start thinking of diverting to another so the third step here is identify your target audience identify your target audience so your target audience are the people that will be buying this problem, this problem that you've been able to identify. They will be buying the solution from you. Identify who your target audience is so that you will know who exactly to reach out to. So if you ask me, the lady in our first, first example, our target audience would be any, um, maybe a working class lady that likes to look good, trendy and modest at the same time. She doesn't want to expose her body. She has the capacity to pay maybe within the range of 10,000 to 20,000 for a, a, a jean skirt. So she's, she's not um, this undergraduate girl that is still waiting for feeding money. <laughs> yes, so it's important that you break down who your target audience is the kind, because when you are able to identify that, okay, this is my target audience, you easily attract them to your business. When you cite them, when you see them, it will be easy for you to know that, oh, yes, this is my target audience. This person falls within the category of people that can buy what I'm selling. So it's easy for you to reach out to them to come buy from you. So identify your target audience, guys. It is very, very important. Um, on the soft note, and let me, yesterday I asked somebody, um, one of, she was, she's a prospect, she's trying to um, sign in for a private course, and then she will, I asked her that, who are your target audience? Because she, after we discussed, she told me kind of issues she was having. So I asked her, who, who are the people that are within your target audience? <laughs> she just told me, anybody that is willing to buy now, anybody that have money to buy now. Hello, when you are trying to sell online, how do you know that this person is holding money to come and buy now? So no, that, that is not the right way to identify your target or defining your target order. Your target audience should be well broken down, like who are the people, what gender, what's their income range, what do they like to do, where do they like to go, where do they hang out, what kind of show do they watch, what kind of things do they do, what kind of community, society do they belong, where, where do they stay, where do they live, what kind of lifestyle do they, do they exhibit. Those things, they are the things that will help you to break down who your target audience is and then help you to also know how to reach out to them and the kind of people you should reach out to so the next thing i have on this stage don't forget that we are still in the pre-launch stage yes the pre-launch stage we are talking about the activities that you should put in place when you want to launch a profitable ready to wear business so the last thing on my list of the pre-launch stage is carry out a market survey what is a market survey, guys? Market survey is what will help you to go out and get more information about from your target audience, yes. So you've been able to identify a problem. You've been able to carve a niche around the problem that you identified. And then you have been able to identify that, okay, this is the person that will be buying the solution from me. The next thing you should do is reach out to them, get more information from them, go into their mind and see what they would like to really really buy this is very very important so how do you carry out your market survey that i cannot cover everything here but I, i'll just remind you of um as of of your um projects yes your project as an undergraduate student you remember how you went ahead to print um some questionnaires and then you distributed it to some set of people and got answer from them and then you were able to break down your results and analyze okay this person this is what they have this is the kind of problem they are facing this is the kind of solution they require and all of that that is the exact way 
now there are easy way to do it thank god for the um emergence of technology it makes this process very very easy that you can set them up with your mobile phone and get the kind of results get it to so what market survey basically helps you do is to get into the mind of your audience to know exactly what they want from you so that you are not just second guessing you're not guess working you're not just there oh i think they will like white jeans skirt i think they will like blue jeans skirt i think they will like red jeans skirt oh i think they, they should be able to pay mm, maybe twenty thousand fifty thousand for my jeans skirt you should really really reach out to them and know so market survey is very very important it helps you to even know what is already um selling what is already available in the market at what price point so that you don't get to um overprice your products or underprice your products so that you don't get to produce what your target audience don't really really want so guys these are the activities that are involved in the pre-launch stage so this takes me to the next stage which is the launch stage yes the second stage of launching a profitable ready to wear business which is the launch stage yes the launch stage proper so right now we have been able to go through the first stage we've gone through the first steps that we need to put in place before we launch and now we are now ready to launch so what should you do when you are at the stage the first thing you should do is plan your production yes plan your production how do you now intend to produce now you know what your audience really want to buy from you now that you know how do you intend to produce it and, and make it available to them so you can do this by actually producing in-house or outsourcing your production. So you see, I don't know how to sell is not an excuse for you not to launch a profitable ready to wear business. Okay, so let's talk about how you can um produce in-house. Producing in-house simply means that you already have your setups, you have the um necessary equipment that you want to make use of you have maybe you can produce you can make the dresses yourself or you have capable hands working with you that can help you with the production help you with um patterning producing the designs cutting and joining and all of that process you already know okay so the outsourcing part simply means that you looking out for garment production houses that can produce your designs for you and then um, you can also decide that okay i want to reach out to local tailors around you local tailors around you that will help you to come up with your production so this can involve you reaching out to one or two of these tailors that make dresses and then showing them what you are able to come up with and then um giving them the designs the specifications and making available the necessary things they need to carry out your production for you so at this stage you have to determine okay this is either i am outsourcing my production or i am producing in house so after doing this what is the next thing you should do is come up with your first set of collections so after you have been able to okay maybe come up with a sample and then they have you are satisfied with what they produced and then you are go ahead with the production okay so you come up with your first set of collection so if you are starting on a low budget i still advise my private student not to produce massively so don't produce too much at the initial stage it's better for you to sell out your first set of collection and then go back and reproduce than producing excessively and then start looking for people to come by here and there you are not um you are now scared you know your your mind is up like oh i need to sell this i need to sell this yes it's good but then don't do too much initially start small it's very very important that you start on a little pace and then grow as you go ahead the next thing you should do is once you're able to come up with a sample of your production go for photo shoots especially when you're planning to sell online it's very very important that you go for photo shoot um there's a proverb that says that for um, picture speaks loud picture speaks loud you see your the eyes will first of all feed and then before somebody will decide that oh i want to buy this thing i'm able to see i'm satisfied with what i'm seeing so go for professional photo shot guys don't uh, manage or oh, let me manage let me just take this picture just take the pictures any hour and then you post online and then you complain oh people are not buying what i'm saying people are not buying my products no 
presentation really matters you see fashion and photography they will go hand in hand because photography helps you to um bring out the beauty of your clothes help people to see different angles of your product and then they will be like okay i'm satisfied now i want to buy it's not possible for somebody not to see something that they are buying and then they will go ahead and make purchase you and i would not do that so your customers too will not do that so go for photo shoots guys very very important the next thing you should do is after you have been able to come up with your photo shots launch yes so what are you waiting for go ahead and launch your products you know the people that you've been able to reach out to before and then that told you what you want they want from your collection reach out to them oh our product product ready to wear product is ready it's out it's on sales right now you can reach out to us do all of those things and then reach out to them and then start selling to them so this takes me to the third stage which is the post launch stage post launch stage so these are the at this stage now the activities involved now so at this stage now the activities involved should be you trying to sell your products on social media yes so it's not just all about um launching your product and then keeping quiet after the launch date you just keep quiet and you're fine with it no so now you are trying to pick the right social media that is very effective that you can be active on you know that your target audience are here they will be willing to buy when they see now go ahead and create content around your product go ahead and let them see let them be convinced enough to to go ahead and make purchase from you um those that are marketing gurus they say that before somebody will be able to buy from you they must know like and trust you how do they develop all of this maybe they've been able to know you they like what you do but they don't trust you enough to um give you that product. that's why at times you see that you post on social media and then people will just like the post and walk away they've not gotten to that process that point where they made the decision to buy what you are selling so how do you do that you can convince them enough to buy from you by make pro producing content so make content online post content online post content relating to what you do speak the language of your target audience you have been able to you remember in the first stage we identified a problem state out that problem for them with a, with a compelling story tell them the problem tell them how you've been able to come up with a solution and how your solution can help them so let's say for example the lady we made the um, example of in the first um, stage she was able to identify that okay a lot of ladies want to wear jean skirts and look modest at the same time she goes ahead online to make posts around this do you think that someone that falls within a target audience for example if i was uh, i was a target audience yes because my sister and myself we went to look for jean skirts i would it would be easy for me to buy from her because she actually spoke my language she told me what was actually wrong initially why well, i've not been able to solve that problem and then she came with a solution so it will be easy for me to make purchase and buy whatever it is that she's offering me as far as i can see and i am satisfied with what i see so it is very very important to create content around your post on social media so what are the three basic social media i think that everybody that is into fashion uh, fashion entrepreneur should be making use of that just instagram facebook and then your whatsapp that's like a more personal so do all of this they are very very important so reach out to more people that's the next thing you should do now reach out to more people so in the process of you launching um uh, people are being together they like this oh this is lovely this is beautiful follow them up don't just let them slide away remember i told you that customers it take them process of knowing like and trusting you at times so of course i will have to come in contact with your business like seven times set before they can decide that okay i want to buy this i want to buy into this i want to patronize that so it will take them that much don't, don't get me wrong some persons might just see your products for the first time immediately and then they are ready ready to buy from you maybe they've had the person for example someone that's already okay she actually needs the jeans case she has an occasion that she needs to wear something like that it will be easy for such person to just quickly go ahead and make purchase 
but you see for somebody that maybe she just feels like oh she needs it she just wants to add it to our wardrobe it might take her some time before she finally decides to buy so it's important that you follow up on your prospects so this set of people that have indicated interest, they already like you they already know you they are your prospects they are yet to purchase they are yet to become your customer so you take them through the process until they become your customers so the next thing you should do after launching and then start you started making sales is to look out for more sales channels very very important the secret to making more money is to selling more for business owners that's just the secret reach out to more people let's say okay i'm able to sell five of my jeans case i made a profit of fifty thousand naira and then i want to make a profit of hundred thousand it's simple i sell 10 of my jeans yet i want to make a profit of 200 000. i sell 20. i want so you see it's easy for you to um multiply your sales quickly you reach out to more people look for more sales channel where are people buying already see e-commerce platform the big e-commerce e-commerce platform that we know some 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 like jumia some like conga some like all of those things you can list your products there do your research and then know how to register on this platform and then reach out to more people all of this platform that i just mentioned they already have your target audience people already go there to shop people already go there to order for their products so you can just list your your products as part of what people will come online to search for and then they will find you so at this post launch stage, stage it is important for you to really really market your product market this is another point you should take note of marketing is very very important keep coming up with ideas that you can use to market and reach out to more people guys very very important so when you are done with all of the stages repeat and win. so you don't really have to go to the first stage again for now except you want to come up with new collection there but you can now start from the second stage and then work to the third process continue like that until you are able to become a global brand that everybody knows about so guys that will be all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like it yes share it with your friends those that will find the information relevant and do me a favor by subscribing to this channel yes i need you to subscribe to help me grow just like i am helping you grow and get better too and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified when i upload my next video bye and see you in my next video